Hello fellow YouTubers, my name is Kay Nicole and welcome to my channel. Uh, I come to you today with my first video because um, I have seen a lot of lock extensions on YouTube. People sharing their journeys and however the journey it appears so limited. I really haven't seen where there's a long extended amount of time so that I can see you know how the person's dealing with their journey or what struggles they're dealing with or anything like that that have lock extensions those that have you know did start from the beginning and did their locks I think that journey is amazing however I took a, a different route and I want to know kind of who has gone through this similar journey that I'm going through so I decided to chronicle my lock journey. Um, basically, I have had my locks in for almost two years, August 11th. It is now March 20th. So I do have some ways away before my two year lock anniversary. So I've always been a free spirit when it came to my hair. I was doing all kinds of different stuff with my hair and being really finicky, coloring it, dyeing it, cutting it, weaves, extensions, anything, I was doing it all. However, I always came back to liking locks. Um, I listened to Lauren Hill and Indiari, and their music is gorgeous, as well as they are, you know, and I always thought they had such amazing locks. And, but I was, you know, nervous and scared of the journey, so I didn't know how I was going to go about and do that. So, um, I decided to grow my hair out, and so I had a nice size afro, uh, and it, when I, it would go like, it was like right to here. So I said, I was told by someone that, oh, if you're going to get locks, you're going to have a lot of shrinkage. So, you know, I didn't want a lot of shrinkage. I didn't want, they were telling me it was going to go from like here to here, and that freaked me out, especially since I wasn't, you know, when I don't, I like short hair, but I like short, relaxed hair on me. I don't know how coils would be or any of those things. So I decided to do lock extensions and I went into Manhattan because I live in New York. So I went to Manhattan. It's very expensive. Um, so I saved up my money and got the lock extensions, which she said she would have done in my hair anyway, because of the type of hair I have, which at that time, I didn't even know what type of hair I had, so I don't know how she could have told me that, but anyway, I assume she knew what she was doing. She was a loctician. So I had her doing my hair, and I would go every month or so to get what she called a root wrapping, which would be um, extension hair wrapped around my hair. And I was doing that for a little bit. Um, about I did that for like three months and then I realized I was losing my hairline like she was doing it so tight that I would have a headache when I got home and my whole all my just gone just disappeared like locks were coming out um because they were just so tight she's like oh I'll just put them back in and everything like that but I'm like why am I losing locks you know why is my scalp like why am I seeing my scalp more instead of my hair so I decided to go to a place in Brooklyn so I went to them and she told me this what I already knew that my hairline was was running away and um, for me not to get it you know done so tight or whatever so they did it and I noticed that when they did the palm rolling my hair wouldn't stay in the roll like it just wouldn't stay it would always come out so that could be very frustrating and um, I don't know, I just decided to venture to someplace else because I didn't know how to do my locks and even though I was watching YouTube videos, I wasn't there going to play in my hair and mess it up. I already had experience one time when I had a bad, when I had a weave and I had to get, oh my, horror story, complete and sheer horror story. So anyway, didn't want to do my hair. So I went to another place in Brooklyn that was um, all natural. So they did my hair and I really liked it and I've been going to them. But then, you know, 
I wanted to do more with my hair. I don't know. I wanted to help it grow, do a little bit more research, know a little bit more because I was really in the blind listening to whoever was telling me whatever. Those that had did, didn't even have locks but knew someone that had locks and I was listening to them. Anyway, which is a, definitely a faux pas on my part. So I ended up going, you know, watching more videos on YouTube and came across Yana the Lockologist, which I'm sure plenty of you have seen. And she's in Jersey. So I ventured out to Jersey and we had such a great experience. Um, she told me about my hair because my hair is thick and it gets water, like it's all spongy and everything like that. However, as soon as heat touches my hair, it's straight, bone straight. And I have a multi-ethnic background, but looking online about the different kinds of hair, 4C, 3B, like, I don't know any of that. And even now, I don't really know my hair because it's, like, it's not a, a full curl. Like, I don't know if you can see this, but it's not a full curl that's in my hair. It's, like, very loose curls and just fuzzy, you know? So, I don't know. And I'm... This is my first video, so um, I'm sorry about the quality. I'm going to be working on it, but I just thought I'd just do this first one and get my feet wet, you know? Um, so please don't be too harsh. Um, this is my first video. Um, but what I hope to be able to do on this um, is be able to share my story with those who have had who have lock extensions because I'm growing mine out um we did she did interlock on my hair which is basically when you put the hair inside of itself using north east south and west so she did that with my hair and it's looking good I'm using black castor oil which she told me to use on my roots and um my hairline is kind of coming back a little bit kind of coming back it's not as full but you know there's there's little fuzzies you know that they're trying to come in there so I decided that I was gonna grow the extensions out so right now my hair is like right here I mean all of this is my hair because it's wrapped in it but officially being able to see my hair is this much so I'm definitely curious about how my hair is going to look um, because I've seen so many videos about the sizing changing from extensions and everything like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I don't see any of this, you know? So people are talking about things and I don't get to see them. So I'm going to chronologue my video so that, you know, you guys can see and see how my journey is going and hopefully... Um, you will give me advice too because that's what I'm here for. I'm, I'm putting myself out there so I can get feedback and I can give others what I've learned, you know, as through trial and error. So right now, what I use on my hair is rose water with vitamin E, which Yanni told me to do and it's helping my hair and it, it, my hair was never really dry, but it just feels a lot nicer and even softer because my hair was soft but it feels softer now and um that's basically what I'm using in the black um Jamaican castor oil on my edges like just right here and you know in the back so um thank you for you know pressing the button and viewing my my um my video um that's it for right now um what I'm sharing I actually haven't, I went to her, I went to Yanni about fe February, so it's almost the end of March, so it's going to be like two months, because I went to her in the beginning of February, like February 1st, and went to her, so I'm just going to grow out the interlock and get used to these fuzzies, because I've never really was crazy about my own hair color, I just never liked it, so this is going to be interesting to see what my hair is really going to turn out and look like. And I'm really curious about it. And as you see, I have like the regular box pattern and everything. And I mean, I do like where how everything is like the foundation. I like my foundation. But 
I want to see what, you know, when these, when I grow everything out and I start cutting my extensions little by little, what my hair is going to turn out to be. And I don't know if there's females that are trying to grow out their locks, um, their lock extensions or that have hair like mine that need to see someone that's like them and going through the struggle. So I'm putting my struggle out there for you guys to see and give me feedback. I do appreciate it. So thank you for watching my first video. Thank you for subscribing to my channel if you do decide to. I mean, that's not really what this is about, but it would be great. You know, I always appreciate that. And I also am doing this because I I have a very busy and hectic schedule and I thought that this would be fun, something fun to do. And I like doing um, makeup too, so I might eventually incorporate that in here but this is mainly about you know locks in my in my journey um with that so thank you again for watching um i hope you subscribe and take care have a great night great day great week bye